Hi everyone, so we got another Jiton portrait drawing project today, and this time it's a portrait of Mila from Russia. So in this portrait, I use a slightly different approach, guys. So before I even start measuring, I'm adding some graphite to the paper to make underdrawing. So underdrawing is like, yeah, I think it's more like a light initial sketch where I can locate facial features using only three values, light, middle, and dark. It's quite simple actually. I'll create a tutorial for this for each facial feature in the future. So please support me and hit the subscribe button guys, so you won't miss the tutorial. Yeah, I guess this is dark enough. Okay, now I'll just spread this with cotton so that it looks smooth. This is the face, so I want it to be as smooth as possible. And by the way, I'm using 4P, and this would be my middle value, guys. I'm trying not to go too dark here. Perfect. And now, using my knitted eraser, I'll start marking the highlight. This will look like a 2D cartoon, guys. So start from her nose. side of the nose, this is her cheek, yeah something like that, filtrum and upper lip. I think the chicks needs to go either. Moving on to eyelid. For head. Rough guess guys, rough guess. Just a quick glance of the reference and be done with it. But that doesn't mean I'm not comparing. Bottom lip and chin. So once again, I'm not measuring, guys. So my measurement might be off here and there, but I can easily fix that as I progress. This is just a rough map, so I get a bigger picture early on. As you can see, it looks like a face already, just under three minutes. Yeah, and this area here would be her hand. Like so. And this here is her hair. I'll just erase it to make some kind of a border between hair and face. Yeah. I'm also marking the eyes so that it looks better. So in the photograph, the lighting pattern is more like between split lighting or Rembrandt. So half her face is covered with shadow, and the other side, this side, is light. I'm adding more graphite to the shadow side, and this will be my dark value. This will complete my light middle dark value. Still using my 4P. The face might look weird at the moment guys, stay with me. I'm just going to blur it with my cotton later. So this is the border between her nose and cheek. And also, I never draw a line, guys. I'm drawing border. Never draw a line when it comes to realistic drawing. Yeah, around her mouth here is quite dark. 
adding some graphite here. And the border between her hand and her cheek. I think that's it. There is nothing left to do in this stitch, I guess. Yeah, so this is my under drawing for the face. And of course you can do this for the entire drawing. But I'm filming here, so since I don't want to move the paper around, I'll just finish one area at a time. So under drawing is done, I'll start measuring and draw details over it as usual. Just a bit more dark here. Right. I'll polish this area further later. 
but I think for now I have finished the hair. And now I want to add some white highlight around here. A nice curved thin highlight. And for that I have new tool. Check this out guys. Ha 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 ha. It's Tumbow Mono Zero Eraser. So basically it's just a regular eraser in a pencil case. It's very thin, but the eraser is actually very hard, so it doesn't break easily. I have actually tried a few strokes with this eraser. I wanted to know whether it works before I record in real time. You see these lines here? I strengthened it with this eraser. I want to show you guys and draw again here. So I recommend this eraser to you guys. It's a great tool for drawing realistic hair. It's also not expensive, and you can buy the refill too, which is quite nice. So a friend of mine recommended this eraser to me, and I thought I would just try it. At first I'm a bit skeptical, but now I think I like how it performs. Beautiful. It's very thin, neat, and more importantly, it's easy. Before this, I used my square eraser. I cut the edge so that it's sharper. It works, but it's annoying because it gets dull pretty quickly. This one is definitely easier. Let's continue the drawing, guys.
yeah, I have changed this area here. So at first I wanted to make it kind of blocky. But I don't know guys, it's just not working, so I smoothed it out. I think it looks better this way. And now I just need one more thing. I'll just sign the drawing real quick. Great, so I think it's pretty much it. This is finished guys, let me show you from top. Yeah, I think the background is dark enough, the hair seems fine, face looking good. I have smoothened out the neck and shoulder. And now I will just go and scan it, which you can see it right now. I might do small refinement here and there after this. As an artist, that's a normal thing to do. You wake up in the morning and notice minor mistake like I forgot to draw one hair strand in some place. And I won't forgive myself unless I draw it. But I'm not doing anything to make the face look smoother or something drastic. So the scan drawing might look smoother because it is scanned and it is small. While the video is being a very close up view so you get to see what I'm really doing. It's like looking a painting from far away where you can only see the details if you look closer. If I enlarge the scan drawing, yeah, it looks more or less the same, and even more detail in the scan version. You can clearly see those individual dots and paper grain. This is because my Nikon T810 is only 1080p guys, and the scanner is like 7000 by 10,000 pixel, so it's way superior in capturing my tiniest detail. Scanning a drawing is my preferred method when presenting to a client. It presents my drawing more accurately. The video might not be perfect at the moment. It's a technology limitation. I'm constantly finding out how to improve it. But the video is there for you guys to learn. So that's it for today guys. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button yeah. Until the next drawing.